Welcome to episode 16. If you're new here, then we're Harry and Nikki. <laughs> and we're converting our Ford Transit minibus into a tiny home on wheels. We post a new video every Saturday, updating you on our progress. And this week, we're building our wardrobe. Oh, hello. Oh, uh, good morrow. Hello. Good <laughs> morrow, good, good morrow. Good morrow. Good morrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. I'm not so ill anymore. We've recovered. Um, Yay. It's Tuesday today, and today we are starting our wardrobe. So we're just getting the wood out we're going to use for it now. Um, we're going to be using some... 18 by 44. 18 by 44 millimeter battens for the base, and we're going to be using some of the thin leftover battens that we've got from building our insulation at the start of our van build. Uh, we're going to use them. They are... I have no idea. Go we'll put, put the put dimensions them. up on the screen now. We're going to get on with that. Cool. So let's go. We've um, done our bottom frame and we've literally done the, the two beams that are at the back, this one and this one. We've decided to like cut them up so it's not just one beam so that they can like attach to different parts of the wall which curve with the van better. And then we'll obviously just, we're going to clad the sides, the cladding will just kind of cover that all up so no one will know. And right now guys we're just going to be building our two front beams with our structure for the top we're going to build a frame to the top make sure we screw them into the timber struts above to make sure they're nice and secure uh secure, secure. um but yeah we're just going to get on with that now and keep going <laughs> Okay guys, so where we're up to now is we've just brought in the front of our frame which we've just put together at the top, just screwing in from the top with some eight centimeter screws. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're just gonna screw this into the timber struts above so this solid framework is extremely solid. And then we're gonna uh, put in some L brackets at the bottom just to make sure they're nice and secure. So what are we doing now? So now we are doing our cladding on this side I'm having to like measure it on each side with pencil. Harry's cutting it out with a jigsaw. Like for instance, that is like the lip between this part of the wall and the cladding where it starts. So it's just getting it all flush and ready. So it's cladding time. Yeah. Riding bikes along the beach, squeaking sand beneath our feet. Water is so clear and blue. Right, can we get on with some work now? Yeah. Why are you crying? That guy wants attention. He's not getting any. Um, right, what are we doing? The back side of the wardrobe is a bit of awkward angles, isn't it? So it we're is. gonna give it a good go. Um, that's it. Cool. Can I have domestic with a young lady? No, I'm not. Look at you. Such a geek like looking into the camera. <laughs> Trying to zoom in. Okay, so I've just 
just drawn down the side here so that Harry can jigsaw it all out so it's perfectly flush with the corner of our wardrobe. Um, once we've done that, then we're going to get on with this cladding this side of the wardrobe, and we also need to just need to decide whether to wood stain it or paint it white. And whatever we do to the sides, we'll do the opposite to the door. So big decision. It's a big decision. Huge, actually. Massive. Monumental. I think white would look better, but uh, wood staining is so much easier than painting. So big predicament we find ourselves in. Yeah. But yeah, we're just going to get on the other side for now and uh, make it look as pretty as that side. And that side, apparently, I wasn't talking about you, I was talking about that side, the cladding. <laughs> <laughs> and you were there like... <laughs> talking about me? <laughs> no. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah, we're not, we're not going to have enough cladding. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. So Nikki's just added in a bit of trim that you see at the bottom there. Uh, we're using some, what are they? 18 by 44. Some 18 by 44 millimeter timber to use as trim at the bottom, which we've used all along our van, which you can see now. Uh, yeah, it just looks pretty and it adds a nice little sleek touch to it, I think. So we're gonna get on with the cladding. Yeah, I'm a big fan of trim. <laughs> Number one fan of trim right here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm a big fan. So, should we run wicks? Yeah, let's run wicks. Mm. We need some more wood stain. So, we need screws. We'll show you what ones when we get there because we can't remember their measurements. Yeah. Cladding, because we just ran out of cladding. And we need some Ron Seal wood stain because it's amazing. We've gone through three tins of it now. It's so good. It's the natural oak one. We love it. We always bang on the back. Amazing wood stain. Yeah. But yeah, we'll check you in at wicks. We'll show you around wicks. Why not? Yeah. Bye. 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 today so um, we're gonna run into a bit of trouble because today we are doing our painting of our cladding for our walls and our back of our cupboard uh, our wardrobe I always call it a cupboard mm. um, but yeah we're gonna get on with that we're gonna have to clear some room in the little workshop space we've got to paint in there but we're just gonna remove sand them all down so they're nice and flush on the edge take them all out paint them all and then hopefully put them all back in after they've had a couple of coats cool let's get on with that Friday now and today I'm going to finish painting this side of the shelf. It's got two coats on it so I need to do one more. Harry's just gone to screw fix to get some more of that paint because I only have enough left just to do this. Um, after that I need to paint the other side which is completely naked right now <laughs> and I think then we're going to think about doing the shelves um, but that's probably all we'll get done today. So yeah.
What's there to say? There's nothing but space in between you and I It's okay that we change But it feels kinda strange that you're not in my life You're the only one that saves me when I'm alone You're the only love that I've ever known But we turn into a flower Okay guys, so that is all for this week. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and watching us make our lovely new wardrobe. Um, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And if you guys haven't already, go follow us on Instagram to keep up with what we're doing at The Vambitious Project. Next week we're just gonna be getting on with finishing our wardrobe off by adding some shelves in and thinking about whether we want a door or a curtain. I think we're gonna go for a door, but not 100% yet. Um, but yeah, so next Saturday, new video, make sure you're there.